After years in captivity, the sharks made their overnight road journey to Mossel Bay in tanks. The waters around the Cape Peninsula would have been too cold for them. Finally, the two ragged-toothed sharks have the deep, wide ocean back. In the beginning, they, they will have to, they, they like to find themselves in the natural environment, but then the instinct will kick in. So the sharks are released in an area where there's plenty of these ragged, ragged-toothed sharks. There's fishermen catching all the time, so it's, it's not that we put an animal that is where it doesn't, doesn't belong to. There's a lot of white sharks in, in this Mosel Bay area, and again, ragged-toothed sharks prey mostly on, on uh, fish, so they really don't pose any threats to any humans. The sharks have been tagged to facilitate research. It's called a Vemco tag. It's about as thick as my thumb, about this long. The battery life on a tag is 10 years. Um, a lot of researchers like Dr. Janori has got listening stations around the coast, all the way from False Bay up into K- KZN. And what will happen for the next 10 years, hopefully, whenever a shark swims past the listening station, it picks it up. So it helps us, helps us and helps the researchers determine how these animals move and where they move to. As they relish their newfound freedom, the Two Oceans Aquarium is getting a facelift. What we'll be doing is the aquarium is going for refurbishment. So our large shark exhibit is actually down for a few months. And um, we will be replacing sharks as we get the, that system refurbished. But this is part of our normal release, release program. So we tend to cycle ragged sharks of a world anyway. Next week, two more ragged tooth sharks from the aquarium will be released in Mossel Bay. Segui SABC News, Mossel Bay in the Southern Cape. Right, now we'll have... Uh